Hey Libra, it's Teresa with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your message. Let's see what Spirit has for you. Holy Spirit, what do you have for Libra? What message do you have for Libra? What message do you have for Libra? And we have Priestess of Purity, Crystalline Purity, number 14. So I feel like you are going through a purification. And this could be by water or fire or both. Let's read what the book has to say. Number 14. Okay, so this is about honor your soul's purity, crystalline consciousness, equality, honesty, justice, balance, equal opposites, high frequency, sacred divine trust, soul alignment, in, in, integrous actions, integrous actions. Sounds like justice to me, sounds like Libra. <laughs> Priestess of Purity, I am a warrior holding the highest vibration of integrity. I am here to anchor in the divine grid <clears throat> of deep purity, equality, and honesty to a level unknown to all humans. Be aware of what you think you know to be the truth as this is just perception and projection. As your consciousness and soul evolve and expand within your physical form, you will know new expressions of reality unannounced to all who have gone before you. Await, dear one, as the grid is recalibrating to a new crystalline form that will enhance the life quality and experience of the whole. Be with me in sovereign solidarity as we anchor this high-level frequency into the new earth. So I feel like things are going to be revealed for... Um, what the real truth is, things are going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, unmasked, um, secrets revealed, um, veils, um, lifted. I feel like there's going to, there's going to be, um, like the smoke will be lifted and somehow you're a part of that. Um, let's see what else. Like you may, you may um, feel this or have visions of this prior to the rest being exposed to this. And you may already be um, feeling the vibration of things that are untrue, like having an, you know, an instinct when things don't seem right or aren't as they appear. All right, we have take note number 22. Your answers are being given to you. Quieting external voices and excessive noise will give you the chance to hear what is being offered. So I feel like you've been meditating on maybe even praying like for certain answers or guidance. And Spirit is saying the answers are being given to you. Quiet your mind, quiet your environment, and you will hear the answers. <clears throat> All right, what else? I don't know why I'm suddenly losing my voice. So weird. All right, what else? And we have mystery. Yeah, I feel like mysteries are going to be revealed. Um, there may be a level of light shining on things like... Um, I feel like somehow there is something that you are seeing beyond the mystery. There may be something where you're seeing between the lines. You're seeing beyond the surface. That's what I'm getting here. What else do we have? And we have the Seven of Cups, Daydreams and Decisions. So this can often be equated with illusion or fantasy. So I feel like um, this is really focusing on your intuition to um, see beyond what 
what the eyes are telling you. That's what I'm getting here. <clears throat> what else? And we have the Six of Cups, Simply Love. So this could be about soulmates. This could be about children or memories of childhood, memories of love, like past loves. What is the challenge here? And we have temperance. Now this is number 14 and this is number 14 as well. So this is all about balance and, you know, bringing two things together to really make them stronger or um, bringing two things together that are um, that are better together than apart. But that's in the challenge position. This can also be about patience and um, divine timing and healing. But we'll definitely clarify of why that why this is a challenge here. All right, what's the advice from spirit? And we have the three of swords, sadness and isolation. So there may be a need for healing. There may be a need to understand why there was heartbreak, why something ended, why um, there was disappointment or, um, you know, some kind of heartbreak or ending. Why did things end the way that they did? What is the outcome? And we have the full trust. So this is all about taking a leap of faith, trusting in the divine to catch you if you fall. Um, also about a new beginning, about taking a brand new path, going on a new adventure. The bottom of the deck is the six of wands, believe and succeed. So really um, <clears throat> having the victory, having the... Um, yeah, having the victory. So overall, this is about the victory. Believe and succeed. So let's clarify. Because this is kind of a mysterious reading here. <laughs> All right. Show me that Seven of Cups. And we have the Six of Pentacles. So... Yeah, I feel like there is a kind of assessment of what's really going on. <clears throat> like almost looking at the transactions of something. You may be looking at the transactions of something. You may be looking at um, who's giving what and what they're getting in return. That's what I'm getting here. But I also feel like it's not just about that. Like you have to use your intuition. You have to close your eyes and see beyond what is um, on paper, what is beyond just what's transactional. That's what I'm getting here. Show me the Six of Cups. And we have Judgment. So both of these have bubbles in so I feel like there's just some kind of reflection happening a need to reflect and evaluate. But judgment and the Six of Cups can be really looking back on the past and looking at how things have gone. And I feel like with this Three of Swords here, I feel like there is a need to kind of purge the and heal this might be what you have been praying for is healing and being able to let go of what's happened in the past. Um, this could be, you could have been praying for answers, praying for someone to return, but I feel like this is you coming into a clear understanding of what happened in the past and being able to move on without... Um, with an understanding that things happened the way that they were supposed to. Show me this temperance card. And we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. It's like, there. this is like ending that cycle of really um, 
thinking that that was thinking that something was better than what it really was understanding the true betrayal of the matter and being you know kind of even going through that pain of actually feeling that pain being able to feel it heal it and then let it go so this three of swords could be you know that sadness feeling that sadness but allowing the healing to come in show me that three of swords and we have the five of pentacles so it is something that you you know both of these are about isolation feeling alone but i feel like this is both of these cards are about needing that time <clears throat> to quiet yourself from external voices and be able to um, tune in to the answers that are being given to you that are healing and understanding and clarity about your situation so that you can move on and um, go towards something completely different a completely new path show me this full card and we have the four of cups yeah you're being offered something by the divine and if you keep focusing on the old things or what you think that you've wanted it's like um the old things are not what's best for you for your highest good there is something that the divine is trying to offer you the bottom of the deck is the fool again so you got that twice there's definitely <clears throat> a new path being presented to you something a brand new path that is like your blank slate your clean new start that's what i'm getting here all right what what other guidance do we have for libra and we have protection Keep some aquamarine close. Mermaid's tears have been known to create these precious gems. And we have strength. Stay afloat and feel steady and calm. Explore. Map show what has already been discovered. Go another way. Yeah, I feel like that's what's really being said here is... There's a need to go somewhere you have never been before. There's an excitement. There's adventure. There's mystery. What else? And meditate. Make some quiet time in the still air. And that's what this was talking about as well. Perseverance. Stay the course. So I feel like that's what this is saying. Believe and succeed. You have a brand new course. Be before you a new path and I feel like this is the direction that's going to help you meet your destiny so those are the messages that came through for you thank you so much for watching I do appreciate it please 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 subscribe and remember the universe has your back and so do I take care